today, my family and I are enjoying a socially distant Halloween event at the Descanso Gardens in La Cañada here in Southern California. And I got my hands on this latest and greatest book by Dr. Gundry, which is a the Plant Paradox cookbook with 100 delicious recipes. My kids have been tagging some of their favorite dishes, which I'm hoping to share with you in the upcoming weeks on our Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter page, which I'll be putting the links down below in the description below this video. Let me share a little bit about Dr. Stephen Gundry. And let's just read this together. Dr. Stephen R. Gundry is a director of the International Heart and Lung Institute in Palm Springs, California, and the founder and director of the Center for Restorative Medicine in Palm Springs and Santa Barbara. After a distinguished surgical career as a professor and chairman of the cardiothoracic surgery at Loma Linda University, Dr. Gundry changed his focus to curing modern illnesses via dietary changes. He is the author of The Plant Paradox and Dr. Gundry's Diet Evolution, as well as more than 300 articles published in peer-reviewed journals on using diet and supplements to eliminate heart disease, diabetes, autoimmune diseases, and multiple other health issues. I have the honor of sharing the podcast stage with the world famous Dr. Stephen Gundry just about a month ago now. So I'm gonna share a sneak peek of the interview that I had with Dr. Gundry with the link to the entire interview in the description below this video as well as in the comments below for your convenience where you'll learn a lot more about me, my experience and education that led to the innovation and development of the Ivory Organics brand company. In our podcast, we discuss several gardening tips and tricks in addition to container gardening to help make this your best growing season ever. Our lesson is titled, To Save the World, Plant a Garden, Even If You Don't Have a Yard, and that is episode 107. And I'm so proud that I got to share this podcast virtual stage with, again, world-renowned celebrities, including the dog and the doc, Randy Jackson, and that's episode 100. Also, the financial wizard, Suze Orman, reveals financial health secrets in episode 91. And another one titled, Actress Reveals Her Health Journey and Her Sex Secrets in episode 74 with actress and author, Suzanne Summers, one of my greatest fans. Enjoy the introduction to this podcast with my newest friend and doctor and health expert, Dr. Stephen R. Gundry. And when you click on his YouTube channel, which again, I'm putting that link at the very top of the description below this video, as well as in the comments below, which are pinned at the very top, be sure to subscribe and don't forget to hit that push bell notification to stay informed of all of his educational health lessons as soon as they become made available. Without any further ado, and courtesy of the Dr. Gundry podcast show, here's how our interview got started. Enjoy. Welcome to the Dr. Gundry Podcast. Today, we're going to talk about a healthy, convenient way to get fresh, delicious, quality produce without ever leaving your house. And no, we're not going to have a mail-in subscription service. This episode of the Dr. Gundry Podcast is all about home gardening. In just a moment, I'll be speaking with the biologist and plant expert, Charles Malky. Charles is the founder of IV Organic and the author of Saving the World with the Home Garden, a book about environmentally conscious gardening. During this episode, we'll discuss the incredible health benefits of harvesting and growing your own food. You'll also learn tips for starting a successful home garden even if you don't have a yard, I got to hear this. So don't go anywhere. I think you're going to be very inspired by what you hear. Charles, welcome to the program. Thank you so very much, Dr. Gundry, and such an honor and privilege to be sharing this platform with you today. Thank you. Well, it's great to have you on. And later on, I have a home garden. So I'm going to ask you a tip for me, but not yet. Okay, now, before dedicating your career to gardening, you spent years researching cardiothoracic science. You also had a law firm. Uh, uh, come on, how did all this come about? And now you're a gardener. <laughs> so I really feel like it's all finally, you know, after 40 years, four decades of um, my passion truly being in gardening and the plant sciences. And it was with it that took me into medicine as 
you know um, anywhere research will support 40 to 75 percent of all pharmaceutical drugs are derived mostly from the plant world. So it's like, why not capitalize it? And most of my education was in the botany and the plant sciences. But unfortunately, 20 years ago, it didn't really have um, the directions that exist today in, in horticulture and in farming. And, and there's so many opportunities for our youngest um, to get involved with at the college level. But um, I started off on a pre-med path. I love to become just like you, a cardi you know, a cardiologist, cardiothoracic surgeon. Um, and I surrounded myself by a lot of educated doctors in the UCI Medical Center where I you know, performed um, and worked on three different um, research projects, specifically one in cardiothoracic surgery relating to encapsulating amicase in these lipids to offer the human body a longer um, antibiotic protection than would otherwise occur by just taking it orally, where it's typically gone in a matter of hours, encapsulated amicase and lasted for weeks. And I've kind of grabbed some of these concepts. My law background helped me with the patents and the trademarks and the licensing. And we work very closely with three different law firms to make sure that we're doing everything perfectly and affordably. Um, and now we've got these products that don't exist in the gardening world to help people grow plants more effectively than ever before. And I can't wait to share that with you. All right. So, the, you know, the title, explain that title. Uh, how'd that come about? So saving the world with the home garden. I've been teaching now gardening for close to 10 years. I, with even my legal background and, um, and I did a lot of real estate law background, I'd want to get in people's gardens. And that was my way to get to know them and, the, and their properties and so forth. And I noticed that when I taught people how to grow things right, and when I talk about right, there's a book that inspired me over 10 years ago called The Secret. And somewhere in chapter four or five, one of those early chapters, it talks about it doesn't matter if you're a good person or a bad person. If you jump off the roof, you're going to hurt yourself. And there's certain principles that are just so obviously right and wrong. And it's not up for discussion. And I teach these people and then they go to the garden centers, the big box stores, and they pick up the wrong stuff. And they're like, is this what I should be using on my plant? I'm like, did you not understand anything I just taught you over the last hour? And it's from there that I, you know, continuously taught, started a YouTube channel, continued teaching and explaining things um, and just growing an audience that has like in a huge positive way impacted um, every aspect of what we do today. Yeah. So that and so that's how it came about. But how are so, you how are you going to save the world doing this? So saving the world is, is basically doing, again, the right thing on your property. And by doing the right thing on your property, I'm actually just going to read right off of like page one um, of this book here. And it basically reads, do unto your garden as you would want others to do unto our world. And the point is, there's farmers out there, which is obviously dominating the majority of the you know American landscape, and they're doing the wrong thing on the properties. And I hope you continue to watch one of my favorite interviews today you'll get to know a lot more about me and again my experiences in education and ultimately i share a lot of tips and tricks in gardening as well as container gardening and what are some of the best plants to be growing and i hope you all capitalize on that to help make this your best growing season ever you can just skip five minutes into it to continue watching from where we just left off if we don't meet again this month wishing you all a happy halloween and dia de los muertos celebrations god bless take care I'm wishing you all happy gardening happy gardening